Harley Quinn may be a huge hit in the DC Extended Universe, but she better beware. There's a new girl in town, and she's no joke. Margot Robbie's performance of Harley Quinn is nothing short of perfection in 2016's Suicide Squad. However, after breaking it off with Joker in Birds of Prey, and embracing her anti-hero status, much like in the comics, her future in the DC Extended Universe feels a little shaky. This is why now is the perfect time to introduce Punchline, Joker's new main squeeze and breakout villainess in the DC Comics, pitting her against Harley Quinn. Let's check out some reasons why Punchline should be brought to the DC Extended Universe. For those of you unfamiliar with Punchline and her relationship to Harley and Joker, let's get you up to speed, shall we? In February 2020, Punchline entered into the world of DC Comics in Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen Issue 3. At first, fans considered her just a carbon copy of Harley Quinn, a sidekick to the Joker who shared his penchant for clown makeup and for trying to defeat the Batman. But with her actions in the Joker War, like slitting Harley Quinn's throat before dumping her body in the sewers, shooting Catwoman point blank in the back, and poisoning Batman in their first battle, Punchline has shown herself to be more ruthless and unmerciful than Harley Quinn has ever been. She seems nice. No, she does not. As for Harley, she started out as a totally obsessed fangirl of Mr. J. Punchline is less obsessed about the Joker himself and more passionate about what he stands for. In Batman issue 93, while battling it out with Harley, Punchline reveals why she admires the Joker. Every day, he's out there, changing the world, making them see the clowns they really are, showing them that they should laugh at death and tear down society. Harley Quinn's role has always been considered Joker's sidekick. Punchline considers herself equal to Joker and has shown herself to be just as sadistic, narcissistic, and sociopathic as him. Looks like the Joker swiped completely right and found his match. With Harley, Joker has always been incredibly abusive to her, both physically as well as emotionally, and shows her little affection. I mean, he's electrocuted and tortured her until she went completely insane. Joker considers Harley his property. Now, Punchline is definitely not his property. And if Punchline number one proves anything, it's that she doesn't need the Joker. She's truly an offspring of Joker's chaos, a product of Joker radicalism. Punchline is an instrument of chaos, and she's out to bring this chaos to the world. Introduce a little anarchy, and everything becomes chaos. So let's say the Suicide Squad is a success. Oh, come on, you know it's going to be awesome and insane. Thank you, James Gunn. And with that success, DCEU is going to continue pushing Harley Quinn, just like Fox did with Wolverine in the X-Men films, and just like Mystique in the rebooted X-Men films and iBoy in the rebooted reboot of the X-Men films. Okay, that last one was a joke. But the point is, is that if studio execs are going to give us more Harley Quinn, friggin' give Harley Quinn a formidable foe like Punchline. Here's the way I see it. Punchline will put Harley to the test, which links us to Joker. Their battle in Gotham extends to Batman. Though Batman may succeed, the chaos left by Punchline and Harley leads out to Metropolis. That leads us to Superman getting Lex Luthor involved because heck, we know Luthor would be in on Punchline's world chaos plans. This links us to the Justice League, which links the DCEU together as a franchise. What makes this work is it's a totally different kind of story arc that's different than MCU's story arc. DCEU could be about saving the world from itself and they need a producer like Kevin Feige to tie DCEU together. Warner Brother and fans, listen up. Punchline is the perfect character to bring to the DCEU next year. She's an example of how we, as a society, can easily fall apart, like a pre-COVID Black Friday sale. She's a mix of Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight and Joaquin Phoenix portrayal of Joker. Holy crap, did Suicide Squad 3, Justice League 2, and Birds of Prey 2 just get bigger and better? Yes, except no sky holes. You put one more sky hole in a movie and I swear. Now presenting the two best actresses to play Punchline in the DCEU. From Ex Machina, Sonoya Mizuno, or Chloe Bennett, who plays Daisy Johnson in the ABC superhero drama series, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now it was reported earlier this year that Warner Brothers is already considering bringing Punchline to the DCEU, and that Kristen Bell is rumored to be Punchline. Okay, look, I love Kristen Bell, 
but this is definitely one of those moments Warner execs just need to go, and cast the right person. My bets are on Sonoya Mizuno. Look y'all, Punchline deserves her spot in the DCEU, and we've got an untitled Joker Harley Quinn project just sitting there on IMDb. What's this? A criminal love story between Harley Quinn and the Joker? Well that sounds like a pretty good place to start. If James Gunn's The Suicide Squad is a success, the future of Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey 2 is back on the table. So bring Punchline to the DCEU and turn up the heat. What do you think about bringing Punchline to the screen? Who would you cast? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this every day. Thanks guys, and we'll catch you next time.